Alright y'all, <clears throat> welcome to another run here on ATS. We got a new truck, new trailer. Um, I recorded a video the other day and it just didn't turn out as nice as I wanted it to. So, we uh, we got this, uh, it's a day cab. Um, I parked my usual truck and I built this one. Um, it's got a ISX uh, Cummins. Of course, straight pipe sound, 600 horse. Um, trailer is an east end dump. We got a load of sand that we're going to be taking. Um, this is a skin I did. I kind of want to do military theme and stuff. I got bombs away on the back with the pinup and stuff like that. You know, just nice, uh, custom, clean looking day cab and stuff like that. I want to do something different. Uh, we got the visor with the lights in it instead of lights on the roof this time. Um, interior, we've got, it's the new style, so she's all custom to match the truck. Um, of course, visor on the back, well, that's cool, the truck disappears. Um, visor on the back window and different things, big old fucking brass knuckle shifter. Um, so, just a nice looking truck, um, and sounds really good too and I wanted to kind of do something a little bit different this time so but uh, anyways so what we got is a load of sand tipping the scales at 34,921 pounds heading to Grand Canyon Arizona to the Cuit location up there uh, we are in Vegas right now so nice little run here to, you know make a nice video for the truck here and uh, I did a video with the reefer on it and you know I just I liked it but I, I, I made mistakes in the video and I had a monster drop visor and I had to change that which kind of threw the video off but anyways let's shut up well, let's get trucking Nice day cab run here, and I cannot see shit out that. I think it's the interior with those chop panels. You really aren't seeing shit. Now I'm, I'm literally looking, ducking my head down in front of my computer screen like that shit's going to do something. So that just goes to show you how dumb I am. <laughs> But I wanted to do something kind of almost similar to Eileen and Sons, some of the trucks they had and things, and oh, good thing we ain't going that fucking way. Definitely a nice sounding truck here. Well, I hope you guys are all doing well here and everything else, and we are doing pretty decent. Um, so, like I said, I wanted to kind of do something maybe like Eileen and Sons kind of had. I know they had ran a lot of dump trailers and things like that, and had a lot of day cab rigs and stuff like that so that's kind of what I wanted to do there all the paints probably not as <laughs> necessarily as wild as some of the ones that they did but they always had very very nice looking trucks and um, I remember when I was a kid just reading custom semi magazines or books or you know whatever seeing them at truck shows seeing them I mean they, they're, they're the kind of the ones that I first saw them and I'm like yeah that's what a truck should look like and um I mean, I've always loved Peterbilt's, but what they did to their trucks, I remember looking when I was younger, going, holy shit, these guys, 
have an incredible fleet and they always look really really nice and uh, they're they're pretty good guys I've I've uh, had the opportunity to meet a couple of the Eileen's and uh, that's been a number number of years ago um, and they're good people um, and, and that the, seems to be the thing with a lot of custom truck builders is generally they're all really really nice people um, I'm actually friends with uh, Vladimir Billick on uh, Facebook he's another good one um, He's, he's always been a pretty humble, pretty decent guy. Um, yeah, he's the one that kind of more or less embodied the less is more thing with his uh, truck, Pete, uh, Peter Rod, I believe it was, or Pete Rod. Um, and he himself is a pretty good guy. He lives with his family out in California, and he just... The thing I like about him is, still, he doesn't brag about how awesome he is. I mean, he's a Patriots fan. That's the only thing wrong I can really find with him. Uh, <laughs> but as a general rule, um, most truck builders are pretty good people. And in the case like Vlad and stuff like that, you know, very hardworking, very uh, Hoover Dam. Um very uh very family man oriented people and just do what you can to to provide for your family and, and things like that but do what you want to do while you're doing it and it's uh yeah and like i said there's you know i like i've been to walcott truckers jamboree and things like that that there's generally not anybody there that's just a dick um they all seem to be pretty willing to uh, take the time to talk to you about their truck and, and, and things like that. And I, I think that's what's cool. Um, it's in the case of the couple of the Eileen's that I met, and I can't remember which ones it was now. Um, you know, just asking questions and never made you feel stupid or nothing like that. You know, just... And I think that's probably one of the things I think that people who drive custom trucks really enjoy is to get to talk about them. I mean, I know when people want to talk to me about my own pickup, you know, I got my second gen 12 valve Cummins there that, you know, once, you know, people will sit there and want to talk, ask me about it or shit when I build my Fummins. Literally every time I stop somewhere, somebody wanted to talk to me about my Fummins. And it was never a problem. It was never, I, I never said, no, I don't want to talk to you about it. And no, no, no. I was always like, yeah, sure, I got a couple minutes. You know, maybe it's made me late for work a couple times. Man, whatever. Um, you have the opportunity to make more money every day. But the chance of making somebody's day sometimes is a more rare occurrence. Um, and so it, it, to me it, is, it was always cool to see I mean even at a young age going to truck shows and things um, just to talk to people who have these badass trucks who are um, <clears throat> excuse me just incredible people and they're humble and they, and they just really enjoy what they do and they enjoy their truck and they really enjoy talking to you about it and things like that um Eldon Yeager another one that had some really really nice trucks um another example of a really really good guy okay. um Not a new been fortunate enough to meet um I cannot think of the guy's first name um but the one that owns Roland Transport and I know there's been a lot of mods um, done on that truck too. Um, another nice guy. Um, Kenneth Fisher, he's another one. His truck is very popular. Um, you know, that's been in magazines and shit like that. He's another very nice guy. He don't live that far away from me. I mean, he literally lives like 10, 15 minutes from me. 
Um, and he's another good guy that uh, just really enjoys what he does and things like that. So. I mean, that's another thing, too. I mean, I guess truck drivers in general are usually pretty good people. Um, whoa! Shit. Dude, come out of nowhere, son. Sorry, dude. <laughs> what, you shy now? Because I almost took you out? <laughs> but I, that's one thing that kind of irritates me sometimes when I see people on on somebody's face, you know, ATS pages that are saying, "Oh." We, I don't know why everybody likes to drive a custom P, you know, well, it, there's not really that many out there, you know, that are all custom like that. There's actually a fucking shitload if you actually pay attention. Am I saying there's as many as, say, one of those plastic piece of crap Cascadias? No, there certainly isn't. But they're a lot more common than you think. I mean, there's companies that have fleets of them. Granted, this is not a, you know, 40, 50 truck fleet. But there's plenty of fleets of trucks that are 5, 10, 15 trucks that are all really nice and customized. Pete Transfer, one of my buddies drives for them, for them and they got all custom Pete's. I mean, there's plenty of companies out there that run very nice custom trucks. You know, and another one of my friends hauls cattle. His Pete's custom. You know, with the straight pipes and the nice paint and stuff like that. So, you can't tell me that it's not common. It's actually really common if you care to look. Um, some guys just want a really nice truck. And they're willing to work their ass off for it. They're willing to take care of it. And then... Yeah. All for it. I mean, my neighbor used to drive a really nice Peterbilt. He has since went to a different company. But, I mean, he drove a damn nice truck, too. I mean, there's plenty of people out there with really, really nice trucks. Beautiful show trucks that they drive every day. It's why it's called a working show truck. There's a whole fucking class of it at every goddamn truck show that you go to. There's all sorts of classes that people drive them every day. I mean, you've got working combo, working bobtail. Those are the two main biggest fucking classes at any goddamn truck show that there fucking is. So, you, you, you can't tell me that nobody drives a custom Pete like that. Really. Because I've named like four or five of my friends that have 
that either do drive or have drove custom Pete's. I mean, there's plenty of custom Kenworths out there, too. I mean, I'm not trying to hate. There's plenty of custom Freightliners out there. There's plenty of custom Western Stars out there. You just have to look. Don't just get tunnel vision going down the fucking highway. Shit, even just my short 30 minute drive I used to do, I'd see one or two of them at least every few days. Whether it was going down the highway or at a gas station, whatever. There's been plenty of times that I have seen people, uh... seen people. Hey, fuckhead. You see me there? Oof. Hey, dude. Tightening that down ain't gonna do nothing when half the pipes are fucking off of the goddamn trailer. But yeah, I mean, it, it happens more than you would think. It's more common than you would think. It's just... Some people just... Think it's real unrealistic to drive something like this in American Truck Simulator. Not really. Um, me, personally, I just... I like the custom. I like having one that looks badass. And that comes from good experiences with people who drove really nice looking trucks. Um, that is where it really truly stems from. I mean, I, I think that's where my love of trucks that look like this per se is because of the nice people that I met with trucks that looks like this. You know, and as a kid or teenager, whatever, you know, just the fact that they took the time out of the day to talk to you and, you know, treat you nicely and then have a conversation. I mean, so, that's pretty much where it stems from. Now, I'm not saying everyone that you meet is going to be just some awesome dude that's down to talk to you, but most of them will be, at least from my experience. And I can't really speak for anybody else's experience because other people's experiences are not mine. So... using Vipers Pete because he was the first one to have one with options that I thought were just really truly badass and pretty much all the stuff that I wanted to use. I mean I did have the add-on pack which was really nice. Don't get me wrong but I mean Vipers Pete's fucking bitching. So I don't see the point of getting a different one. Other than like I said the hater built does look pretty sweet. But
and I guess with the whole bullshit with Russia and stuff going on, I, I, I guess there's some issues with Ruta's Peterbilt, supposedly, because I think that's where he's from. Um, Uh, but supposedly there's people are having issues with that and nobody can really do anything because people from Russia are pretty much cut off from all social media and shit like that so fuck they even cut off their ability to get shit like Netflix and Hulu and all that kind of fucking crap. I haven't been out this way in a long fucking time, dude. It's crazy, though, the shit you remember from just driving around in the game. I remember that fucking gas station sitting there. And this fucking place is, is a bitch to get in and out of. Really? You want me to put my fucking lights on? Oops. Supposedly that's what I had heard. Now I don't know if it's 100% necessarily true, but I guess. dig this fucking ISX straight pipe sound. And that's why I went with a newer interior in this one. Because the ISX didn't come out till 01. And this new you know, the rounded dash and stuff, I believe came out in 2000. I believe it was 2000. Um, it was either 2000 or 2001. I think 2000 might have been a flip year where you could get you know, either interior or something, maybe. But I know it was right around the year 2000 that they switched over. Why didn't you just... Right. Never mind. I stopped asking myself that question a while ago. Why did you make me turn twice when I could have just turned once? But this is ATS, so... They want to be realistic and sometimes my GPS is really fucking stupid. So yeah, I guess that's why I would make you turn twice, because they want to be realistic, because your GPS could be really fucking stupid. <laughs> so... But yeah, like I said, you know, uh, as a general rule, people who drive badass trucks like this in real life are fucking badasses themselves. 
because you know they've busted their ass for what they got. And I think that's why people don't like custom Peter builds. Because they like to be fucking jealous. They like to hate. I ain't like that. I would rather admire somebody's work than hate on it. I mean, be completely honest. If you got a custom Volvo, not really my cup of tea per se. But, hey, I'll appreciate the work you put into it. I'll appreciate the pride you have in it. Um, so, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, you're fucking dumb for doing that to your truck. Eh, whatever, that's up to you. <laughs> and we're supposed to be going the other way. Nice. Awesome. Good thing I got a shorter wheelbase truck. So I can actually do this. And it won't let me pick up the axle. Let's get this straightened up real nice. See if we can do this. And it is hard to see. Oof, we fucked this one up already. Good thing there's not a bunch of fucking traffic. Oh, it is hard to see around the back of that fucking... around the corner of that fucking trailer. We are making a mess of this. So much for thinking short wheelbase truck would be real easy to back up. But I think we're going to wiggle it back. Heh, that's what she said. <laughs> hey, we got her in there. Not the straightest. But, uh... And again, not everybody's completely straight. What? What? I didn't, I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the run here. It's pretty awesome. I like doing these roads, I think, drop-offs. Although it would have been nice to come up this way instead of having to whip this fucker around. But, hey, whatever. Uh, but anyways, until the next run, guys, take her easy and all that good stuff. Um, um...